Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today, the discussion natin is all about mean, standard deviation, and variance of discrete probability distribution. So proceed na tayo. So the formula to determine the mean of a probability distribution is the mu. Uh, kapag ay nakita kayo yung ganyan, uh, yung parang sign ni Majin Bu, ang tawag dyan is mu, is equal to summation of x is times, times the p of x, where mu is the mean of the probability distribution or the discrete probability distribution, x is the value of random variable, and then p of x is the corresponding probability. So, yun lang naman siya. So, proceed tayo. Paano nga ba ginagamit yan? Tingnan natin. And sample, the probability that a customer will buy 1, 2, 3, or 4 items in a grocery store are 3 over 10, 1 over 10, 1 over 10, 2 over 10, and 3 over 10 respectively. What is the average number of items that a customer will buy? So, ito tingnan natin kung ano yung average or mean. Uh, discrete prob ng etong discrete probability distribution na to. So, first thing to do is go muna tayo ng probability distribution table. So, by constructing, i-assign natin. So, since meron na dun sa given problem ng uh, given probability dun sa bawat number na to, na which is ang um, ang chances na bumili ang isang custo ang customer ng isang item, which is 3 over 10, and respectively, so, ito yung naka-assign for 1. So, for 2, that is 1 over 10. For 3, that is 1 over 10. For 4, that is 2 over 10. And for 3, and for 5, that is 3 over 10. Ayan ha. So, we associate, and then, we multiply the number of um, items, or the value of x, by the, its probability. So, yun yun, yung gawin natin ha. So, Yung symbol na to, that means multiplication, okay? May multiply lang natin itong, itong x variable. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng number na nandito, dun sa corresponding probability niya yung katapat. So, 1 times 3 over 10, that is 3 over 10. 2 times 1 over 10, that is 2 over 10, or 1 over 5. So, I suggest, nakagaya lang rin ang ginagawa natin dun sa previous video, I suggest, wag muna natin i-lowest term. Kasi as low, uh, at least pare-pareha sila ng denominator pag naka-fraction siya. As long as pare-pareha sila ng denominator, di mas madali tayo makakapag-add. Okay? So, 3 times 1 over 10, that is 3 over 10. 4 times 2 over 10, that is 8 over 10. And 5 times 3 over 10, that is 15 over 10. So, by formula, di ba ang formula lang natin ang mean, summation or sum of all terms ng x times p of x, which is ito yun eh x times p of x. Summation yan. So, total lang yan. So, i-add lang natin to. Since, pare-pareha sila ng denominator, kaya nga sabi sa inyo, huwag natin yung lowest term. Di, ang gagawin na lang natin, add the numerator, then copy the denominator. So, 3 plus 2, that is 5, plus 3, that is 8, plus 8, that is 16, plus 15, that is 31 over 10. Okay? So, 31 over 10, that is 3.10. Okay? So, the average that a customer will buy is 3.10 since ang pinag-uusapan natin dito is number of items or whole number. Okay? So, siyempre, um, tinatanong naman ang number of items. Hindi naman siya pwedeng chances na bumili siya hanggang 0.10 lang. Diba? So, at the same time, hindi tayo mag end sa computation lang. Dapat meron tayong conclusion. So, therefore, the average number of items that a customer will buy is 3 items. So, kung pupunta siya dun sa grocery store, possibility, uh, pinakamalaking chances na bumili siya is 3 items. Okay? Based dun sa number of probabilities na meron tayo. Okay? So, that is example number 1. To determine the mean, napakadali lang, di ba? Kunin natin yung product ng value ng, ng variable times the its corresponding probability. Then, add lang natin lahat yun. Then, the uh, lowest term, perform the operation, then that is the average. Then, siya kadali. So, how about the variance and standard deviation? So, sa variance, ng standard, uh, variance and standard deviation of discrete probability distribution, dalawa ang formula natin. Okay? So, meron tayong alternative formula and then standard formula. This is the standard formula for variance that is 
Uh, variance is equal to the summation of the quantity x minus mu squared times p of x. And then, to determine the standard deviation, di squared lang natin yun. So, yung formula, ibig sabihin, yung makompute natin for variance, kaya variance ang unang kinocompute. Yung makompute natin doon, kunin mo lang yung square root noon, that is standard deviation. Kasi kung makapansin nyo dito, yung formula niyan, ito lang naman, nagkaroon lang tayo ng square root. And then, syempre, nawala yung square dun sa kabila. So, tingnan natin yung alternative. Ito yung alternative formula. That is the summation of x squared times p of x minus mu squared. So, the same standard deviation. That is square root. O, nalagay lang natin square root. So, paano gamitin yan? Sige, bibigay tayo ng example. Try natin. Ngayon kayo na yung bahalang mag-decide kung alin man dyan sa dalawa ang formula na gusto nyo gamitin. Kung yung standard formula ba o yung alternative formula. The same lang rin naman yung computation dyan, ha? Unless, talagang maraming decimal points, ang possibility, meron ganong uh, cases tayo, kung meron kayong ma-encounter na ganon, may chances na magkaroon sila ng uh, difference kung nagra-round up kayo ng numbers. Pero, maliit lang naman yun. Okay? Tingnan natin, ha? So, proceed tayo dun sa given example. So, the number of cars sold per day at the local dealership along with its corresponding probability is shown in the succeeding table. Ito, yung table na ito. And compute the variance and standard deviation of the probability distribution by the following given step. Okay, so tingnan natin ito. Ayan, hanapin natin yung variance and standard deviation by the following given step. Ibig sabihin itong table na ito, kompletuhin natin yung table na yan. Meron na tayong corresponding probability. Ibig sabihin, may chances na walang benta sa isang day. Sa isang araw, that is 1 over 10. Chances na makabenta ng isa, that is 2 over 10. At ang chances na makabenta ng dalawa, that is 3 over 10. Tatlo, 2 over 10. And apat is 2 over 10. Okay. Tingnan natin yung probability distribution. First thing is we multiply x times p of x. Okay. So, same lang din ang ginagawa natin sa pag-determine ng mean. Okay. So, 0 times 1 over 10, that is 0. 1 times 2 over 10, that is 2 over 10. 2 times 3 over 10, that is 6 over 10. 3 times 2 over 10, that is 6 over 10. And 4 times 2 over 10, that is 8 over 10. Okay? So next step, x minus mu. x or minus mean. So which is, wala pa tayong given mean. Pero meron tayong x times p of x, which is sum lang neto. And we simplify, that is the mean. Ha? Ayun yung... First, dun sa, ano, sa unang video natin. So, compute nyo yung mean. Pwede natin i-post yung video. Then, try nyo yung compute. Then, tingnan natin kung parehas yung computation nyo sa computation. Okay, sum up lang neto. Then, divide by. Uh, then, simplify. Okay? So, that is. Ayan nga yung formula. A few moments later. Okay, tingnan natin. So, that is 2 plus 6 plus 6 plus 2. That is 12, 22. Over 10, that is 2.0 or 2.2. I hope parehas tayo. So, gagawin lang natin x variable. So, ito. Minus the mu. So, ano natin na? Isusundin natin yung uh, loss of exponent. Uh, loss of um, integers. So, so, kung may negative side, dapat magkakaroon ng negative side. So, x is 0 minus 22. Uh, 2.2. Uh, 2 that is negative 2.2. Ano? 1 minus... 2.2, that is negative 1.2. Okay? Sinusunod natin yung process sa 0 minus 2.2, that is negative 2.21. 1 minus 2.2, that is negative 1.2. 2 minus 2.2, that is negative 0 0.2. 3 minus 2.2, that is 0 0.8. 4 minus 2.2, that is 1.8. Okay? So, next, since kompleto ka na dyan, di proceed ka sa next part. So, alter, ano to ang ginagamit natin standard ha? Doon tayo sa, nag-upisa lang tayo sa standard formula. Yung first formula. 2.2 squared. So, i-squared na lang natin yung lahat na nandito sa table na to. I-squared natin dito. So, 2.2 squared, that is 4.84. Okay? Ito yung i-squared natin. Negative 2.2 squared. So, ibig sabihin, negative 2.2 times negative 2.2, that is 4.84. Negative 1.1 times negative 1.1, that is Positive 1.44. So, negative 0 0.2 times negative 0 0.2, that is, that is 0 0.04. Okay? 0 0.8 squared or 0 0.8 times 0 0.8, that is 
0.64 and last is 1.8 squared or 1.8 times 1.8 that is 3.24 okay so kanina parang wala tayong yung nasagot no? so tingnan natin yung last part okay so last part daw ito which is ayun yun eh x minus mu squared yun yun eh times p of x so ibig sabihin ito yung portion na to multiply natin sa portion na to yung p of x so 4.84 times 1 over 10. Okay? So, pwedeng i-multiply muna natin siya sa numerator, then divide natin by denominator. Okay? So, that is 0 0.484. Kaya ninyo? So, kasi point 10 lang naman din. Mag-move lang tayo ng decimal. Pwede rin naman hindi nyo, ano, hindi nyo muna i-combine or hindi nyo muna i-divide. Okay, pwede naman yung 4.84 over 10. Okay? Ako, I, I choose to divide kasi may decimal na dun sa taas eh. Tapos, may fraction ka pa. Di, medyo, ano, medyo complicated. Pero as I suggest, kung ganun lang rin dito sa final portion na to, as long as tatlong decimal, para at least hindi kayo lumalayo dun sa ano. Kasi nag-round up ka eh. Okay? So, 1.44 times 2, that is 2.88, tama? Divided by 10, that is 0.288. Okay. Next is 0 0.04 times 3 over 10. That is 0 0.012. Okay. 0 0.64 times 2 over 10. That is 1.128. And last, 3.24 times 2 over 10. That is 0 0.648. Okay. So, ano step na? Ito nyo na yung table eh. Ano yung step na? Deposit ka dun sa formula no variance dun, dun sa standard formula. Standard formula tayo, yung umpisa natin doon ha. Mamaya na yung alternative, tingnan natin po. Kayo na mag-decide kung alin ang sa tingin nyo mas madali. So, what is the formula? Ito lang yung formula. Which is sum na itong x minus mu squared, ayun yun eh, times p of x. Ito yun o. Oh. So, ibig sabihin, lalagyan lang natin ang sum. Ibig sabihin, i-add up lang natin lahat yan. And that is the variance. So, add up ninyo. So, pwede natin po yung video. Tingnan ninyo kung parehas yung total nyo sa total natin. So, Game. A few moments later. Okay, tingnan natin. That is 1.56. Ayo, para sa tayo ng total. So, standard deviation, that is variance. Tama? For standard deviation, kailangan mo lang na may square root yan. Diba? Ito yung formula for standard deviation. Square root mo lang yan. Yung 1.56, which is 1.25. So, that is the step. In solving uh, or determining the variance in standard deviation using the um, standard formula. How about using um, alternative formula? So, take note nyo lang to ha, yung, yung variance natin is 1.56, saka standard deviation natin is 1.25. Tingnan natin kung gagamit tayo ng, others, uh, ng alternative, kung magiging parehas yung answer. Try natin. So... Ito yung table na dapat natin kompletuhin kapag ang gumagamit naman tayo ng alternative formula. Ayun. So, choice nyo na kung alin nyo, kung sa tingin nyo mas mahaba yung isa o mas mahaba ito, bahala na kayo. Kasi medyo sa, sa part ng sa part ng kapila ng, ng standard division, uh, ng standard formula or general formula ay medyo malaki yung table. Pero pag sinasamak mo na lang. Meron dito, medyo meron ka pang i-perform na operations. Kaya dyo, pero mas ma-exist siya dun sa table. So, tingnan natin. So, x times p of x, that is, minimultiply lang natin yan, which is ginawa na natin yan, last, uh, dun sa first example natin. So, same lang rin dito. Mumultiply natin yan, 0 times 1 over 10, that is 0. 1 times 2 over 10, that is 2 over 10. 2 times 3 over 10, 6 over 10. 3 times 2 over 10, that is 6 over 10 and 4 times 2 over 10, that is 8 over 10. Okay? So, since, um, next step lang natin dyan, lagi tayo kumukuha ng mean, ikunin na natin yung mean, which is, kinawa na naman natin last time yun, di ba? Which is, and sum up lang na ito, 2, 2 plus 6 plus 6 plus 8, that is 22 over 10, that is 2.0, uh, 2.2. Back up lang natin yun, baka kasi gamitin natin. Okay? So actually, ginagamit talaga siya. Kung makakatandaan nyo yung formula nung, uh, kung nakopya nyo or na-screenshot nyo yung alternative, may mu dun. Uh, so kailangan nyo yan. So, since kahit wala siya sa table, kung makikita nyo, hindi kagaya dun sa uh, standard formula, ay eh, gumagamit tayo sa table. 
Pero gagamitin natin yan. Kaya kailangan nyo pa rin mag-compute yan. Kahit alternative. So, x squared, sabihin, i-square mo lang lahat ng values dun sa first variable nyo. Which is 0 squared, that is 0. 1 times 1, or 1 squared, that is 1. 2 squared, that is 4. 3 squared, that is 9. And 4 squared, that is 16. Okay? And then last part is x squared times p of x, which is, I, itong x squared natin, i-multiply natin dun sa p of x, yung probability natin. So, 0 times 1 over 10, that is 0. 1 times 2 over 10, that is 2 over 10. 4 times 3 over 10, that is 12 over 10. 9 times 2 over 10, that is 18 over 10. And 16 times 2 over 10, that is 32 over 10. Okay? Nakapansin nyo kanina, hindi ko ako naglagay ng over 10, no? O, yun nga, kasi nga mayroong decimal. Pero okay lang naman din kung gusto nyo naglagay ng over 10. Kung ayaw nyo i-simplify. Kasi i-add up nyo rin naman yung banda ko ulit. Okay? So, which is, formula natin dito sa alternative, which is ito yun. X squared times P of X. Ayun yun eh. Sum down na ito, minus the mu squared. Mu. O, yun ito yung mu natin, yung mean. So, kailangan pa rin talaga natin ng mean. So, that is... Uh, 2 plus 12, that is 14 plus 18, that is 32 plus 32, that is 64 over 10 minus 2 times 2, uh, 2.2 squared, 2 times 2 tuloy, 2.2 squared, <laughs> yung mu natin, mu squared, which is, oh, ito muna, yung parenthesis muna tayo, so that is 6, 6, 64 over 10, that is 6.4 minus 2.2 squared, that is 4.84. Okay, so that is, gives us 1.56. If you can recall, kanina yung ginamit natin alternative, eh yung standard formula, di ba? Ang nakuha natin um, variance is 1.56, the same this. Uh, kasi nga, gumamit lang naman tayo ng alternative formula. So, nasa inyo na kung alin man dun sa dalawa ang gusto nyo gamitin. Okay, how about the standard division? Kung the same lang rin yun sa, no, sa variance, Hindi magiging the same lang rin sa standard division. Square root na ito, which is square root ng 1.56, that is 1.25. So, ganun lang kadali. Ganun lang kadali kumuha ng mean, variance, and standard division of discrete probability distribution. Uh, so, that is that all for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.